Hi, Josh Barker with Remax Town & Country Real Estate. Thank you for checking out our market update for the month of September 2017. You know, like I like to do each month, this month we're gonna go ahead and start with a housing report for the month of August with home transactions and closings. So let's go ahead and get started. This month, in the month of August, there was 317 properties that actually had closed escrow. I'll circle this for you in red for you. Now, if you compare that to one year ago, there were 282 properties that closed escrow last year in the same month of August. So as you can see, sales are up by 12% compared to last year. Now I'm gonna put a slide right over the top of that. This is our active home sale report. This gives us an idea of how many homes are for sale broken down by price range. You can see down at the bottom, and I'll circle this for you as well, there was 1,090 properties currently active for sale in the multiple listing service compared to last year where there were 1,142. So our inventories are down by just over 4%. And our sales volume is up by just over 12%. And this is part of the reason why we're continuing to see a very strong housing market here locally. We're seeing our prices move up slightly. In fact, this year average sales price is around 269,000, which is up 5% compared to last year. So as you can see, the market overall is performing very well. Our appreciation is not off the hook. It's actually moving up, but it's moving up at a very gradual pace. And what's good about that is that it's helping us to prevent a housing bubble. When you have slow, predictable appreciation in a market, you're able to actually have volumes of, of, of uh, income uh, and buyers coming into the market. Everything kind of works together over a slower period of time so you don't create those bubbles that could obviously could cause corrections in the market. Next thing I wanted to talk about just quickly is just new construction here in Shasta County. We are beginning to see an increase in the amount of new construction available for purchase. Um, on the east side of Reading right now, they have new construction that's taking place off Airport Road, and for the most part, it's starting out in the low 300 range. Over on the west side of Reading right now, we're also seeing new construction projects that are becoming available in the spring. Most of those will be in the high threes, low fours moving forward. And then if you go up into Shasta Lake City, most of the new construction there is primarily focused on the west side of Interstate 5. Entry-level homes are starting in the mid-250s and it ranges all the way up over 300,000. And then finally, looking at Anderson, Anderson has entry-level homes right now in the low twos. And in Cottonwood, we have properties that are starting off also in the low twos and running up over 300,000. So we are seeing new construction starts happening literally all over the county. And it's primarily targeted around the average sales price, which is great because that's the area and the price range that really needs the greatest amount of supply. So um, those are really good things to look at. Now, in conclusion, we'll just talk real quick about financing. Right now, there are still some great lending programs that are available. FHA is allowing buyers to purchase with as little as 3.5% down. Conventional financing right now is becoming available for as little as 5% down. So allowing these buyers to get into the market with lower down payments is obviously increasing the amount of buyers available to purchase. And because these are all 30 year fixed mortgages, we're not dealing with those risky loan products that we were dealing with 10 years ago. So these are all good things. Now, interest rates, if you're curious, are averaging in the high three, low four range uh, for interest rates. And projections are they could be slightly higher in the future but as, at this point, as, as you've probably seen too, we haven't seen a lot of changes. So in any case, if you have any questions at all about the real estate market here in Shasta County, we're always here to help. Thanks for your time today. Have a great day.